TWM podcast. Gato Move number seven, which I did. Gato Move. That I love well. that song. Because uh, I had a journey with this because I went to go watch it and then it wasn't on fight. I did. <laughs> I literally had to DM <laughs> Mister Fight TV himself and ask him why it was taken off the site and they put it back on. So thanks, fight. Now, now is it Miss? Is it Mister Fight? Like, is it like Mister F dot TV? Is like Fighter's first name? No, he's um, he's what it is. He's Mister. He's Mister F, Ite TV. So, okay, cool. Mister right. Frederick Ite TV. Um. Do a barrel roll. Barrel roll was confirmed. That's fine. Uh, we got our opening dance and song number, and we find out that Mizumori cut her bangs today. Um, <laughs> the the dance theme. I, I don't know if you noticed this. Go back and watch it if you didn't. But like, Emi Sakura was like a mum at a party, with dancing with all like the younger girls. She was she wasn't really sure of herself at first, and then towards the end, she was well into it. She she knew where she was supposed to be, what was going on. She was loving life. It it. it warmed my heart um, the fur opening match Balianaki and Riho um, over May Saruga and Taro Yamada this has a story um, that Yamada and Saruga um, are called themselves <laughs> Team Small Eyes whereas Aki and Riho refer to themselves as Team Big Eyes um, it, it's all about the eyes uh, Emi Sakura's refing and this week she could be asked to do the freaking introductions this time rather than just getting the wrestlers to do it um, we get Riho and Segura doing a test of strength, and then we get some fast wrestles and much screaming. Um, Saruga hits an arm drag, but then Yamada pokes um, Aki in the eyes. He then offers Aki to poke him in the eyes, but he's blind, Deck! He's blind! Um, Yamada <laughs> and May do their slender eyes pose, which, yeah. If anyone else did that, I'm pretty sure it's considered racist. Um, they work over their larger eyes opponents. Uh, Saruga hits a rolling pin. My highlight of this is she's doing the pin, doing a pose, and realizing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you've just said she she's she's you just said she's she's got a rolling pin. <laughs> she's what? <laughs> she turned into a rolling pin. That's what happened. Um, what I loved, I loved about this is she was doing a pose off of the rolling pin, um, and she saw something on the mat, and she just like went, "What's this?" and then threw it off. And she was so not only is she. Um, wrestling she's also performing good hygiene <laughs> good job well you know there's, there's there's never a reason to not not uh impart uh, good hygiene for yourself and other safety uh aki then hit especially a... when it comes to your rolling pin yes your rolling pin everyone loves a rolling pin um aki hit a snap brain buster but then missed his splash that brain buster was not pleasant on a very small map that they wrestled no. Um, Yamada and Aki exchange blows Riho and May gotta go fast and then Saruga runs wild um, Aki uses Riho as a kicking machine Riho misses her double stomp then Aki hits her big ending um, and then Riho's double stomp for the win it was a good match but I needed more new Jack Riho from last week where she was just using weapons all the time um, <coughs> she's still healed though yeah, but she, she did add she did add the uh, be the dick at the end so. yeah because she mocked them I'm for their tiny eyes heel, Riho. We, want, we, want, yeah. we want more heel Riho um, we then get Shota over Siaka Obihiro. This is not the Shota that I am used to. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's neither of the Shotas that we're used to. Um, we get solid mat wrestling to open, and then Shota works over Obihiro with elbows and working the back. This was a bit too wrestling y. <laughs> like I, was just like, I kind of yeah. lost interest in the match. I didn't know that Shota had a very American wrestling style, so I imagine he's one of those ones that was kind of inspired by 80s American wrestling. Okay, well. Um, all the all kind of stuff like yeah he just well, you do that based on the fact that he was wearing red white and blue yes <laughs> um, the two exchange abdominal stretches they do a pin exchange then show and locks in the sharpshooter for the win it was okay it wasn't anything to write home about <laughs> uh, then the main event Emi Sakura and Masahiro Takanashi over Mitsuru Kono and Yuna Mizumori um, Kono and Mizu offer handshakes um, Emi refuses and then mugs someone else off in the crowd because she's a dick um Mizumori throws drop kicks and then, then her and Emi Sakura go at it. I'm fairly certain Emi Sakura got pinned, but the referee, he tried to fuck on Mizumori. Um, there was a clear three he, count. He certainly did fuck on him. Um, yeah, that's what I, that serves you right for having a ref with no trousers on. Uh, Kono and Takanashi grab for a bit, then Kono fights out a double team and everyone gets an arm. They do the, 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 the uh, Chikara spot, which I think is a Japanese spot in, in reality, where one person arm drags everyone and then they do the whole the jump up in the air and the dance thing. But what I loved about this is <laughs> yeah, she does it, it and then everyone mugs her off by tying their shoelaces. Yeah. 
<laughs> brilliant loved it so funny um Kono and Emi try suplexes, then Emi, Takanishi work over Kono. Uh, we see that Emi Sakura struggles to do a forward roll, which shouldn't have been funny, but it really, really was. Um, Kono then tries to do a funky submissions, but then Emi chops her. Emi tries a crossbody. Kono gets the knees up, a hot, hag to, um, hot tag to Mizumori, sorry. Kono and Mizumori, they do splashes forever. Takanashi and Emi do a double splash for a near fall. All four brawl. Emi gets alabama into the wall. Mizumori then loves this, like, off the back of Kono... This, like, wall walk splash, which looked really fucking cool, um, but misses. Yeah, um, it, it deserved a hit, didn't it? Yeah, but then Emi rolls her up, because Emi Sakura always goes over. Emi Sakura is the um, Hulk Hogan of Chocoland. <laughs> Where, <laughs> well, when you're booking the territory, brother. Brother dude, Jack. Um, I do believe they had tea. I don't think it was soup. I did have a look at the cups. They looked like it was more of a tea <clears throat> substance than soup. We soups. had tea. Um, to be precise, it was peach and orange, uh, peach and orange aromatic black tea. I, for one, would love to have some of that. I'm not a so fan. If I ever go to uh, Japan and go to Gato Move, I hope they're serving that. Um, my my issue is, is I'm not a fan of peach. I I had uh, this conversation only but a few hours ago when the fruity sparkling water that was um, brought into my household was peach and passion fruit rather than the um, raspberry and kiwi peach, that, peach. I, that I prefer. Um, was there anything interesting discussed during tea time? No. Uh, uh, admittedly, all I watch, I just, I just see what tea they have. <laughs> tea, fast forward, see if they dance at the end, finish. Um, but yeah. I don't know, not even that. <laughs> I always check if they dance at the end, just in case someone like gets kicked again like they did last week. But um, <laughs> Yeah, Gato move. Always fun, no matter whatever the weather. 